Let me take you through my whole skincare routine. First, I wash my hands. Then I dry my hands. Then I use my skin by Kim. First, I put on my cleanser. Squirt it in my hands. Just a little bit. To rub it on. Rub it on. All the way. You're not going to wash it off, though. Then I close it. And I put on my toner. I like to shake it sometimes. And if this ever happens, it's not a good thing. So, try to open it. You can squirt just a little bit on your hands. Put it on. Make a rub it till it goes away. And like this, I do it. And I get my vitamin C oil. Squirt just a little bit on. Dab it on. Little sandwich everywhere. Now, just get a towel to dab it off. Then I get some oil drops. Squirt. Squirt. So good. Put it on my face. So. I put this face cream. Still so good. Then you just put like a little bit on. Not like a lot. Well, that's kind of a lot. Well, it's okay. Now you wrap up. Really have to get that forehead though. Don't put it in eyes though. Okay? Then I put this eye cream. And it's so good. Oh, this is so good. Put it on. So good. Oh god. Just rub it in. Sometimes you just say dance and help it like <laughs> dance it really get those moves in. Mm -hmm. Lights on. So it face. So good. So good. Did you see any difference in my face? Yes. So good. Face with it. Now I'm going to use my mini moisturizer. Just a little bit. Done? Moisturize it. That's enough. I don't need that. This is a towel, and I'm just going to dump it. And it's so bad to wear skincare when you're a kid. So I don't even use that much. So now it's time for floss, and I have this cute thing floss. My sister's going to help me. Okay. Let me do. Sometime. Matching bonnets! <laughs> There are two types of skincare girls, Penelope or North. I am definitely Penelope, but at their age, I feel like I was North. I still stand by what I said. Northwest is still single-handedly running TikTok. A lot of people got upset with me when I said that, but I don't care. Northwest is such a cutie, and I love that Kim runs this TikTok with her. So let's go over some of the products that we're seeing in this Get Ready With Me video. I really have to slow down her videos so I'm able to get these screenshots. This first product is the Drunk Elephant Moisturizer. This is their Lala Retro Whipped Moisturizer. I haven't tried this moisturizer yet, but I have a feeling it would be a really good nighttime one, which I'm really interested in trying because lately my skin has just been so dry. Next is this hand wash from ASOP. I'm not sure if this is the exact one that she's using in the video, but oh my god, I love this hand wash. It leaves my hands feeling so soft and it smells so good. Okay, I have not actually seen this before. This is by Nooney and this is their marshmallow whip maker. What it says it does is it'll transform any cleanser into a rich marshmallow-like foam for a more luxurious skincare routine. Hmm. You can actually find it right on Amazon. The cleanser that she uses is actually by Skin. I actually have yet to try Skin by Kim, but I think I should just pull the trigger and buy this trio right here. I honestly don't think this blush needs any introduction. If you don't know, this is the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow Blush. 
Another thing that doesn't need an introduction is this KKW Beauty Mascara. The way that I need Kim Kardashian to bring back KKW Beauty is obscene. It doesn't even need to be KKW Beauty. It could be rebranded under another name. I just need her to bring back makeup. Back to blush, and I talk about this one a lot. This is the Lip and Cheek Glow Balm by Kylie Cosmetics, and it's in the shade Pink Me Up. Next is the classic DR Lip Glow Oil, and I'm pretty sure it's in the shade Raspberry. However, if you don't want to spend $40 on a lip oil, there's an amazing dupe on Amazon that I can recommend. Not only does the packaging look identical to the Dior one, it actually works the same, and it's only $6. Keep doing your thing, North. Northwest has dropped us a new skincare routine. Let's see what she's using today. To be honest, this is another very unhinged skincare routine. It's almost as bad as Selena Gomez's, but we love it. And her skin's glowing. So first up, she goes in with the Noni Marshmallow Whip Maker. This is just a great little fun thing you can get on Amazon. It's like $10. You essentially put any face wash in there, put some water in it and foam it up, and it makes a really foamy face wash. So she puts a cleanser in there first. I have a feeling this is a lab sample of a cleanser. It could be a new one we're seeing from Skin by Kim because it's a cream cleanser. Um, you can tell by this sort of like printed out uh, stuck on label that I'm pretty certain this is a lab sample of something. Next, she goes in with the Skin by Kim. This is the foaming cleanser. So she washes her face with the whip she's made. Then she washes it with this foaming cleanser again. You'd think her face would be perfectly clean. But then weirdly enough, she goes in with the CeraVe Cleansing Balm. Now, there's nothing wrong with this product. It's a great product, but it's weird that she's using it after washing her face with two cleansers. This is generally something you would use first. So you'd use this to remove all your makeup and oil because oil removes oil. And then you would go in with your foaming cleanser after because this can leave a bit of a residue on your skin uh, when it doesn't clean, wash off fully. But she's washed her face three times now. Next up, she goes in with a cult classic. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. It's a beautiful moisturizer. Again, then she wants to go in with another moisturizer. This is the F-Balm from Drunk Elephant. It's a light water gel. Generally, when we're applying skincare, we want to apply thinnest to thickest. So this would definitely go on first, and then you'd put the Magic Cream over the top because, to be honest, that Magic Cream's uh, quite thick. Nothing's getting through it, especially not this. She then pops the Skin by Kim face oil drops over the top, which is nice, kind of locks everything in. She then uses the eye cream. Uh, she does use this on her lips, which is a really great way, actually. Eye creams are perfect for around the lip area, particularly if you're older and starting to see creasing and lines because the skin under our eyes is very similar to the skin on our lips. Lastly, she goes in with the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wands for all over face glow, and it's beautiful. Like I said, a bit of an unhinged routine, but we love to see it. She's having so much fun and all great products. Let's go. Llama, llama, red pajama, read the story with mama. Mama keeps the baby hair. Mama, llama. Let's read Northwest skincare routine. Okay, first we have this infinite, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, shampoo. It's like an Olaplex and apparently it's really good based on the Amazon reviews. I've never tried it, so I'm gonna give it a seven on 10. Just cause everyone says it's pretty good. And we've got the conditioner and again, seven on 10. Miss Northwest is using my favorite moisturizer or one of them at least. If you haven't tried the CeraVe moisturizing cream, don't take it from me, take it from Northwest, it's amazing. Rating 11 on 10. It's gonna be a hard pass on the watermelon toothpaste, like three on 10. 10 on 10 for the fact that she's sanitizing her hands before the skincare routine and 10 on 10 for the touchline sanitizer. Of course, Miss Northwest is going in with Skin by Kim. For supporting her mom, I'd give that one a 10 on 10 too. A little hydrating serum, nine on 10. Starting young with that eye cream, 10 on 10 also. This gal gives you a 10 on 10 for your skincare routine, Northwest. Good job. I missed this one in the body care section. Okay, our girl North is sharing her skincare routine, but I'm a little concerned because one thing's missing. One of our towel scrunchies. Look at the mess the girl's making. We rated Northwest and Kim Kardashian skincare and makeup routine. Now let's rate Penelope Disick skincare and makeup routine. Let's go. Miss Penelope Disick is using the Lala Retro Moisturizer from Drunk Elephant. I love this one, but I do love the proteiny a little bit more. We'll give this one a 9 out of 10. This has to be Honest Beauty's Vitamin C Serum. I also really like Honest Beauty. Let's give this one an 8.7 on 10. These are the Drunk Elephant Bronzy Drops. Unpopular opinion, wasn't a big fan, especially of the price. I think there's better dupes out there. Let's rate this one a 6.5 on 10. This is Drunk Elephant's Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I love the serum so much. 10.5 on 10. This is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Serum. Amazing serum. This one is like a 20 on 10. This is the Marula Facial Oil from Drunk Elephant. I also really like this one, nine on 10. This is the Kosas Concealer. I love Kosas as a brand. I just didn't love this concealer. However, their foundation's fantastic. Seven on 10 for this. Of course, we've got the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. Eight on 10. I've never tried this Dior blush. I heard it's fantastic. I also heard there's better dupes out there. For that reason, let's give it an eight on 10. Charlotte Tilbury Highlighter Wand. I really like this one. Let's give this a 9.5 on 10. And last but not least, these are the Dior Lip Oils. I really like these ones. Let's give this a another nine on 10. I just watched Northwest Skincare Routine. We've been doing it all wrong.